Hey guys and welcome. This video is on the plugin Simple GUI Creator and it does what it says. It lets you create GUIs and it's really easy to set up. You can set up anyone you want. They can run commands, they can be different items. I'll quickly run you through it. Basically when you create it you'll get this config file and you'll get the example. So if we open it up, I've actually changed them and created two more as well. So if we edit it, in the example you'll get the name and this is the name that will be displayed at the top of the GUI so obviously if this was your starter kit or your shop you'd name it you can also color it as you can see I have there then you've got rows this is how many rows are in it I've only got one which means there'll just be nine slots but you could put it as two rows three rows I mean up to six rows then you've got require permission so this is if you need a permission node to actually open up this GUI so if you type in a permission node here and then make it into a permission, players can only open it with that permission. Then you've got the price message. So as you can see, there's an A here, which means it's green for the word cost, and then B for the actual price afterwards. You'll see that later on. Then you've got open with diamond. So if you have a diamond and you right click, this will open it up. So then the slots themselves. So slot two is wool. And that, that activates suicide. So as you can see, the command here is suicide. And there's a weight of 30. Then you've got the golden carrot, which is shop. And when you click this, it opens up the command GUI shop. So this will open up another GUI. And then watch, you've got another one that opens up time change GUI. So these are the two other GUIs that I've created. And as you can see there here, shop and time change. So if we look in the shop, as you can see the shop basically all it does is takes the price of 10 or a thousand or whatever your price is and then all I've done is op so instead of a command this is op so it'll override whether you've got permission to run the command or not and then it will give the player however many of the block I've specified then time change was the other one in time change all it does is basically change the time so once again overrides the permission and changes the time to the day so if we quickly go into Minecraft itself, open up the server, as you can see I've got a diamond, so if I right click you can see test is opened up, I've got suicide, I've got shop and I've got change the time of day. So you can colour all of this as you can see, so if I suicide it waits and then kills me, get my diamond again click shop as you can see it's opened up another GUI where I can buy the items and just by clicking it buys it and then if I click again you can see I can change the time of day so it's really easy to set up and you can create some really cool GUIs I'll definitely be using it if I create a server because I mean it's just amazing to have GUIs there's so many different things you can come up with with this I mean anything you can think of this plugin can pretty much do it it's really easy to set up. Diamond, obviously if you don't want it to be opened by an item, you don't have to, you can just leave it blank. But the other cool feature, if I give myself a sign, you can create signs as well. So you do GUI, then test, and then that'll actually open it up as well. So the plugin's got endless features that you can mess around with. Really easy to set up. There'll be a download link to it in the description below. And as always guys, please remember to rate, subscribe and comment. Cheers.